Hi guys, if you guys are new here, my name is Jenna and welcome to my what's in my work tote bag video. I've been actually been meaning to do this video for so, so long now. Like I feel like almost a year I've been wanting to do this video. You guys, I have finally found the perfect work tote bag. I'm seriously not kidding. And you guys, this bag is under $50, first of all. And it's even from Amazon. And you guys just look at this beautiful, beautiful bag. I'm going to show you guys everything that's in my work tote bag. I literally just got home from work. So I promise the only thing that I've actually taken out of my bag is my camera and my tripod. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my bag. And I just wanna show you overall this bag in general because I just think that this is like the perfect work tote bag that I've been looking for for months. It feels like, but I feel like I just haven't had the perfect work tote bag until this bag from Amazon. And it is literally the best thing ever. If you guys want to see what's actually in my work tote and just learn more about this Amazon work tote bag in general, then let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, this is my work tote bag. You guys, first of all, this is like the most beautiful bag ever. This is from Amazon. It was less than $50. And I just overall love how versatile and functional and fashionable and affordable this bag is. It is so good. I cannot say enough good things about it. I love that there are two straps. So if I want to put the strap over my shoulder, I can. But if I want to wear it as a regular tote bag, I can also do that too. I find honestly that I do it like 50 50 there's just like a certain look you guys it's like a long messenger tote bag and I just think that this is like the perfect in between there's gold detailing on the front and back and you guys one of my favorite things about this tote bag that I felt like I couldn't find in any of the other tote bags online at other stores <laughs> is the close-up zipper. Especially if you guys are taking public transportation, I think having a zipper on top of your work tote bag is really, really important to just keep everything safe. No one will ever steal anything from you. You know that's not gonna happen if your stuff is closed. So that's everything outside the bag. Inside the bag though is actually like what has made a difference for me. I don't know about you guys, but all of my previous work tote bags were just one big bag. Like there was no compartmentalizing anything. There was no organization. It was just like one big bag. And I thought it was fine, but I realized how much of a game changer it is to have a work tote bag that has compartmentalized apartments in it. Okay, you guys, here's like a sneak peek of everything that's inside, but I just want to show you guys the bag in general. So on the inside, you have a laptop sleeve here and it has like a little Velcro compartment. So even if you drop your bag at some point, then you know your laptop won't fall out or anything. So on the inside, if you want your laptop and some papers to be safe, that's what that strap is for. It's so nice. And then you have kind of like a half and half compartment here. It's really nice because it just easily divides like all of your notebooks and stuff and then all of your like trinkets and things. So I have like my keys and stuff. We'll get to all of this stuff, you guys but I just need to show you the bag in general. There's pen holders, there's little pockets, there's a zipper pocket, like there's just so much. There's even a water bottle sleeve, if you guys can see that closely, and a zipper pouch in the middle. Like there's just so many compartments in this bag. It's so cute. So that's everything in terms of like the actual bag. Now let's show you guys what's inside the bag. Okay, this is actually gonna be really fun. The first thing that I have is my work laptop nothing special i just have a regular hp i think this is like a z book is technically what it's called it's a nice 13 inch laptop too which i like because it's not too big not too small it just kind of does everything that i need and this was provided by my company of course so that's the first thing that's in my bag and then let's see what else you guys i'm not kidding i haven't taken anything out of my bag so i actually have no idea well, let's just see what's next on one side of the zipper compartments i have two notebooks this is my notebook for work i like having this size notebook i think this is a four by six or eight by I don't know how big this is. I actually have no idea how big this is, but I got this from Target. It's a little bit smaller than an A5 size, and I like it just because it never gets in the way. I can keep it handy, walk around with it, anything. It's very nice and neutral. It was very cheap. So I have a notebook here for all of like my work to-dos and just random lists or notes that I can't type on. That's what this notebook is for. And then aside from my notebook, I have my planner. This is a Papier planner and it has my name in the middle. It's so pretty. I think this is just like the most beautiful planner ever. I keep my planner for non-work things. So any like personal events, due dates for like content related things, just personal to-dos, I keep on here just because I like having the separation of my work to-dos not in my planner. I always plan everything in terms of work in my laptop anyways. I don't really have like a paper planner for work. I usually just put everything in my Outlook anyways. So that's what's next. Okay, let's see what's on the other side of the zipper compartment. I have a coupon to Total Wine because I got wine yesterday. So there's that. <laughs> I have a claw clip here. This is something that I like to keep in my bag at all times. This is just a really cheap one, I think, from Princess Polly or Amazon or something. But I like having these always because you never know when you need a claw clip. I have really thick hair, so a lot of times I like to have it up in a claw clip. Like, I actually have it 
up right now and I just like always having these handy. You never know when you need to put up your hair and you don't want to crease anything. Okay, I have two pairs of glasses. Let's see what's inside. These are a pair of sunglasses from Key Australia. This is actually the newest pair of sunglasses that I got. This is how they look. I love these because these are like the perfect, like just cover 50% of my face. Don't look at me, but I look cool. So I really like these. I got these from Nordstrom. It's actually a gift for my mom. So thank you, mom. So those are my fun sunglasses, but in this case, I have a pair of blue light glasses. This is my favorite pair of blue light glasses. This is from glassesusa.com, and I love these because they don't have my prescription in them. I usually wear contacts on work days just because it helps me kind of wake up in my morning routine and everything. So I like having blue light glasses for when I need blue light protection, but I don't want to take off my contacts. So these are really cute. These are from glassesusa.com again, and I'll link them below. I just think these are really, really cute. I have the same style in like three colors. That's how much I love these glasses. So so I have a pair of sunglasses, a pair of blue light glasses, and I just like always need them no matter what, especially if you're going to like a happy hour after work something one day, or you're going out to dinner and you forgot. Just having sunglasses is always handy, and then having blue light glasses is really good because you always want to protect your eyes, you guys. I have my car keys very simple. I, just, I have this keychain that I got from a New York stand and then I just have my regular car keys. Nothing crazy there. I have three different pens and the little pen compartments. These are from Muji. These are like literally the best pens ever you guys. Thomas actually got these for me, my boyfriend, and he got them off of Amazon so I'm gonna link them for you guys. These are just the regular 0.038 pens. These are really, really nice. And then this is a 0.5 pen and it's like the clicky kind. So Muji just makes literally the best pens ever. I'm not kidding. And I'm not even exaggerating. These are the best pens. You need them. Then in the side compartments, I have some hand sanitizer. Of course, you never know when you need it. I have a business card of somebody that I met at a networking event because you never know when you need them. And the thing is actually, I need to get my own business cards and keep them in my purse. They're at my desk in the office, but I keep forgetting to put them in. So make sure you guys put in your own business cards. You never know when you need them. You'll never know when you need business cards. And I'm really glad I met this person. I need to put them in my own bag. And then I have some hand lotion because I have really dry hands and especially in the office, I'm always getting up to go walk around the office and like wash my hands, go to the bathroom and stuff. That's like how I get my steps in when I'm in the office. So I like to have hand cream just to keep my hands nice and hydrated. This is one I think from Korea. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then I have a body spray. You guys, this is the best body spray ever. I usually don't like to wear perfume on a daily basis at least, only if I like really need the perfume and like the stronger scent, then I'll use perfume. But usually on a daily basis, I just like to do some body mist and like spray all over my body and my hair, my clothes, whatever it is. I like to use body spray usually. And this is the small version of my favorite one ever. This is the Dahlia spray from Bath and Body Works. It smells so good, you guys. It smells like sweet and floral but not overbearing and it kind of wears off throughout the day and it's just you guys, this stuff is really really good definitely recommend having like a travel perfume or travel body mist if you want something lighter you never know when you need this too and you use this more than you think and then in the side zipper pocket I have all my like lip products so these are my top lip products that I have in my work tote this is a tinted lip balm from summer Fridays I love this one this is the darkest shade this is in the shade brown sugar and I love this stuff just because it's really nice and hydrating. It's a little bit dark so it's a nice color but it's very natural. Then I have this Merit Beauty lipstick. This is a little bit more neutral brown of a color and I like this on like more professional types of events where I need like an actual lipstick and I don't want to just wear a chapstick or something. It's really good for the more professional nights and I don't know you always need a good lipstick whether you have a bunch of different lip glosses or chapsticks you always need a good lipstick too and this is my favorite right now from Merit Beauty. And then lastly, I just have a regular lip gloss with no color or anything. This is the one from Tower 28. I love this stuff just because it makes your lips nice and shiny, but there's no color in it. So, and just like, I don't know, you guys, this is like my perfect set of things. If I need something clear, if I need something hydrating, and if I need something professional my lip products. So that's basically everything inside the bag besides this middle zipper divider compartment. So let's see what's in this last. I have a phone charger wire because I always need it no matter what. I have a handful of tampons. I like putting these in the zipper compartments just because you know that like tampons will never fall out of your bag. That's just something that I'm always like, I have a fear of being embarrassed by my tampons falling out. Not that there's anything to be embarrassed about. I just get embarrassed, okay? I have two masks because you never know when you need those. And then I have two 
hair scrunchies. This is one with a nice bow on it, and then this is just a regular scrunchie. I just like having hair accessories because if you get bored and you need to put your hair up and focus, then you need your hair accessories. And then lastly, I have another lip product. I've actually been looking for this, so it makes sense. It's in the middle compartment and not in the side zipper compartment. This is that same Summer Fridays lip balm, but this is in the vanilla shade and it has no shade at all. It's just like translucent and it tastes like vanilla. It's really nice. I have the middle shade too, but I don't know where it is, but this is the dark shade. This is the middle shade. I got it in a set from Sephora. Okay, you guys, and then that's everything in my work tote bag. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what was in my work tote bag. Honestly, nothing crazy, but I feel like I've been really good about keeping everything I actually need in my work tote bag. I have nothing that like is just junk or trash. These are all things that I like actually need on a daily basis. So besides my wallet, my wallet's not in there. Oh, my wallet is in my lunch bag. So don't worry. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to make a video of what's in my work tote bag and just show off this beautiful tote bag. I've only had it for a couple weeks, but it is literally so life-changing. Like getting this bag is what motivated me to make this video for you guys because this is just like, you need it right now. It's so, so, I swear you will get compliments. If you guys are new to my channel, I film a lot of lifestyle vlogs, a lot of work week vlogs, work from home day in the life vlogs, but I work in a hybrid office. So I'm in the office and I work from home basically whenever I want. And I love just bringing you guys along my life at the end of the day. So make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're not already, I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already. Bye.